happens when we rush something. Uh, yeah, well, I see your point. You don't rush anything because you're not Chris Pratt. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2, the Dominion DLC. I almost forgot what it was called. There's too many Dominion and Dominus Fallen Kingdom God knows. But uh, thanks to Frontier, I've been given the opportunity to record this a little bit ahead of time. Uh, by that, I mean like two two days. We now have access to not only the campaign, which is now 50% done. And I can barely remember what happened in the campaign, if I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like a whole lot of nothing, really. It's establishing the DFW and protecting the dinosaurs. But we also have the Chaos Theory, Jurassic World, Dominion, what if scenario. Now, the thing is, I, apparently this is really hard. It's almost a Jurassic World difficulty. So I'm assuming you basically just have to make another park, a bit like uh, Jurassic World was. I'm kind of curious about this. We're going to do a campaign first, and then we'll do the Chaos Theory. Uh, we'll probably, like, today is probably going to be low. There'll be a little bit of campaign, probably a little bit of chaos, and a little bit of showcasing the new dinosaurs, of course. How about all three? <laughs> so, let's start off with the Dominion campaign. Spo Wait, what was that? Spoiler warning. Refers to events from Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> ah, who cares? I, I feel like I've basically seen the movie at this point. I've just turned off all voices. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. As John Hammond realized, there the we go. Park, now we can read his it. Competitors began to see the potential of InGen's work. One of their main rivals, Biosyn. We have already sort of seen all this, but uh, what I'll do is we'll, we're, we we kind of need to do it again, <laughs> basically. I'll try and skip some boring parts so you're not watching it all again. But you know what I mean. This is the start of part one. Named Dennis Nedry. He did! A plan was devised to steal InGen's dinosaur embryos. Very slowly. <laughs> created to house the precious commodity. An ad placement! My god, it was really beautiful! Knows what happened that fateful night. What is yeah, we do. Is Everyone knows. Nedry Have you not seen the movie? Samples were never seen again. That's a part of canon in the, the universe. They made a movie and everything. So too had Hammond's dream. Decades later, businessman Simon Mizrani tried again. I want to know if they ever did anything with that cam. Hammond's vision Surely, right? Tragically, things didn't go as planned. Oh, that's Bison a bugger. Bison was waiting for its time. And they found it in the aftermath of Jurassic World's downfall. Now, led by Lewis Dodgson, a new era was dawning. Ooh. While we don't know what the future holds... No, we don't. The habit of repeating itself. Well, hopefully you'll direct the next few Dominions, or like, whatever you want to call them. Dominion, Dominion, you know, all these extinction, Jurassic World extinction, Jurassic World part four, uh, Hammond's Chronicles. Because God knows, Callan's given up on it, I think. <laughs> we are so close to realizing Biosyn's dream. So, why is he pink? Never achieve. Once we get I mean, not wrong with pink. Here, I would, I, I'm wearing pink, but like perfect. Dodgson, really? Okay. A perfect red of evil. evolution. Luck favors Passionate. the bold. We were prepared. Now we need to finish the job. Look at this bio man. I can't wait. I can't wait Isolated, to make a new like ballerina in here. Landscape. We are still at a disadvantage until we understand more about this ecosystem and how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. Oh. The last thing we want is for them to not adapt and die. Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. Underwater grass! Now. Lovely! They'll be just <laughs> fine. Just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Just shut up. <laughs> Leave the rest up to Mother Nature. I'm really mm. interested to see how this, how Lewis Dodgen's portrayed in the movie, because it's like, I'm not Hammond. I'm not egotistical. Proceeds to then be egotistical completely the whole way through. So this is going to be interesting. So, a little bit behind the scenes. Because I have never recorded anything proper on the laptop before, I, uh, I recorded in the wrong dimensions, as you can quite clearly see. So, uh, yeah, excuse the, uh, the blurry sides. Uh, I swear I'll fix it in the next video. <laughs> I guess what they say is true. It's location, Ooh! location, Gun! location. More than you realize, this is perfect keeps us away from the public's prying eyes. 
and keeps the political do-gooders at arm's length. To think what InGen had and fumbled away. They never what saw a the shame. bigger picture. All dinosaur and zero Fuck. business. That Look is where the foggy Bio wins. We bring a balance that InGen never understood. We see the Ooh. whole picture. Okay. What's our next step? I don't want to waste any time getting this going. If you say so. Is that is this like having a oh god. Oh wow. Well, oh the hyperloop the system. Remember, yes, yes, I remember this. To the hyperloop. Very good. All right, we're going to try and speed run just the first few bits. Oh look, there's the mist. It looks so good. I love the fog fun. It's awesome. So good. Okay. Hopefully the dimensions is all right as well. I haven't tested this. <laughs> this whole new laptop situation with proper games. Yes, we need this. And then this can, can like go, ho, ho, in we go. And apparently we need, a, we need a path. P for path. Best thing they ever did in the game. Although we haven't got that unlocked yet, so. Update. Everything is going to plan. We should have the research we need shortly. Great. Oh, research. It's the best, easiest way to go. Also, I feel like I should be lower. Like, I'm like looking like this on my laptop, like, here should go. <laughs> I should really pop it up on some of this laptop, but then I'd block off the fans. Good God. I definitely didn't think this through. Really, when I moved here over here, I was like, oh, don't mean you die. I'll be fine. <laughs> I don't need to record anymore. I'm retired. <laughs> Biosyn. Okay, that did it. We have access Yay. to the core facilities research. Look at them go! Great. Oh my Our god! Our is coming together if each building we get operational. Yeah. We just need to ensure we can handle all the dinosaurs when they arrive. I think we can do that. It's Maybe. all starting to come Maybe. together, just mm. as we envisioned. Yes, please. We are leaving InGen in our dust. Nobody well, cares! I will give them some credit. They did resurrect the dinosaurs from extinction. Oh, I'm losing sure, money here. I should be fast-forwarding time on this side. We're doing it right. Their failures were our education. We won't be making the same mistakes. Ooh, look at team. the fog! It just all of a sudden comes and it's so good. It's like the aisle. So many people commented that as well. Once they did, they wanted to showcase them as circus. I'm glad I got to showcase that because I don't think anyone else did. Get it. Like the environment. Evolution is not just DNA and frogs. It also happens with the fog, in business anyways. And to again, advance yeah. the world. Think of what we will bring to the world. Think of what we will bring to humanity. New medicines, biotechnology, beauty products. <laughs> yes, curing cancer. A new foundation for your skin. I want to see a functioning facility. <laughs> that is the only way we can secure the dinosaur survival. If you say so. See that you do. A lot of right. There's definitely a couple things I want to talk about as well when it came to this. Uh, oh, do we, do we, where do we, I think we just, does it really matter? Just one long bit of path. Yes, path's working now. Sweet. Just go forward. Yes. Where's that? There it is. There's the straight one. Boom. And a boom. Beautiful. And then we can just put the path to it. Go. Just, yeah, I feel like I've seen Dominion at this point. I haven't even... Uh, like, watch the movie yet, but <laughs> I honestly feel like I have. Oh, also, yeah, almost forgot to mention this, that not only am I, um, showcasing, you know, the Dominion DLC, but I'm also, there's a, the free updates in here as well. Um, I, I haven't even checked, actually, what the, <laughs> is in the free update. Because <laughs> I'm brilliant like that, me. I'm amazing, amazing, pro gamer, pro gamer beaver. <laughs> right, go on then, and you, boom. Done. Fast forward. We want to get to show the dinosaurs. Beautiful. Been More dialogue. Expand our team, specifically scientists. Look over the candidates and let's add some to our operation. You were the first scientist I ever had. Die. <laughs> right. So all we need is like a couple welfare and uh, yeah. Look at that. There. This Andrew's got it covered. Look at that. There we go. Thank you, Andrew. Hey, I have exciting news. We're closing in on some exclusive biosyn tech. Invisible you always fencing. say that. It'll secure the animals while removing the traditional man-made constructs that have surrounded their environments. So, no. no visible barrier between us and the dinosaurs? That sounds Brilliant. terrifying. Uh, 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 the more these animals believe they are not in cages, the healthier they will be. You say yeah, that. That will make them easier to care for. I think... 
We'd better place some research outposts as well. We can observe our animals safely from there. You know, so good. it's bad enough that dinosaurs never knew what a fence was until we placed them around them. But what if they become dependent on them to feel safe? <gasps> what if? At least they could see a barrier between us and them. How are they even going to trust their environment with invisible fences? How are they even going to know where they are? Oh, believe me, they'll feel it if they try to cross one. Yeah. That. Jesus. Wait, I oh! Don't know. Look, it feels like we're messing with them and how comfortable they'll be in their environment. I'm trying to Look work out whether fences. they redid Ramsey's the audio from the other one either. I did. And that hasn't stopped us. Because they might have. Oh god, here we go. Right, so we've got Stegosaurus, Gallimimus, and Parasaurolophus. Wow, finished. they're not giving Nazutoceratops anymore. anymore. Sweet! <laughs> output. Already there. We won't right, okay. be able to hold much longer. And we'll need to research how to get more. Already done. I'm ahead of you. The way forward. Let's yes. get it. Right, so I think pretty much we, we'll just do like a big D. <laughs> Further, there's something I want from you. Through my connections, I've arranged for a number of dinosaurs that, to be delivered did I connect? here to our I hope facility. It did. They're coming all the way from Isla Sorna, so you'll have some time to prepare for their arrival. I'm confident you won't let me down. They're going to need enclosures, secure enclosures. Safety is essential for them and us. Yes, yeah, say that. To I'm going to get the ground leaf on the go already. Ground leaf! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> let go my stego! Ha <laughs> ha! Right, which way are you facing? That it? There you go. Oh no, go there, sword. Yeah, so you don't need to like hit the certain angles. It's it's just kind of fine which with with whatever way you want to do it. So you need forest, you need ground nut, and you need ground fight. But God, you're whingy. You haven't even explored all your territory yet. There you go. So even more sizable. Got stegosaurs missing forest. Well, that's fine. You've got your forest now. Now you need ground fart and ground fiber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are so funny, Jim. Oh, I know. Aren't I just? <laughs> like, ground fruit, where are you? Need a little bit of fruit. Alright, so that's three or three enclosures. Two more sort of being. I'm also, like, let this little bit to be expanded to if we need a walk to it, because some things will need paths, I'm sure. So we'll see what the powers need if they're okay. Oh, they're missing a little bit of ground nut, but I think they're okay. Plug him back in there. He needs friends. And you are... You, oh, you're missing a lot of ground nut. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Wanting that ground nut, huh? We've got everything happy. Look at that. We've got the stegos, the gallimimus. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see if the uh, stego actually is happy. Uh, oh, yes, it is. And the gallimimus, I think they're probably the least fuss. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, yes. Oh, wants a leaf apparently. Never mind. We can make some real progress if we get a research more leaf here. connected to our hyperloop. Yeah, makes sense to me. Awesome. Then let's make it happen. Without proper security, we slip into the same chaos that brought down our rivals. But our ranger team should be capable of maintaining order. We'll set up the necessary patrols. Yeah. I don't have to remind you. Remote monitoring can only go so far. Of course. We'll get right on it. All right, okay. So we just kind of... Ooh! Actually, it kind of works if I put it over here because this is a fence. And if I can somehow turn this... Yes! Have you heard the phrase, you are victims of your own success? Ah, oh, get in! Because, gentlemen, that's where you find yourselves. <laughs> just so good! Okay. Not sure I follow. It means Wish we're it wasn't doing our job, so we can take on even more. Whatever the challenge, we're ready. Then welcome Save to the Biosyn Genetics Research Compound Phase 3. This will allow us to continue expanding our genetic engineering division and take our operations to the next level. Hell yeah! Biosyn is counting on you. More importantly, I'm I counting on you. you. Me! Perfect <laughs> genetic samples for the best outcome. That is something Biosyn will write a check for. Yeah, but we're not yet in control. We're dependent on others until we get in a position to send out our own expeditions. And I don't like being unable to control the outcome of something. 
Oh yes. God! Once this research is done, we'll be able to send out our own expeditions. We should be in a better place around our. Samples. I don't even think I paid attention to if this stuff. Own <laughs> when I played it, it's better for. We need some. control. And you. All right, we need more power, so we we'll probably need another hydro. Okay. Hydro plant ready thing. to build an expedition center. Don't forget, we'll need a fossil center too. Understood. These Say buildings that. will put biosyn at the cutting edge of bioengineering. Where's the fence? I can't see the fence, damn it. It's looking quite nice, actually. I haven't really seen too much of the dinosaurs, if I've got to be honest. Look at you! <gasps> oh, I can't I was there. Yeah, they're perfectly happy. That I thought, yeah, it definitely needed to be expanded. So we've got a dimetrodon place we can put in there. I don't know what we'll be able to go with the dimetrodon. And then we've got another place here. And then we could probably, like, expand out this way. We can make, like, a... Make the path go round sort of thing. In fact, that's what I'll do. Oh, my God. It's actually really big. <laughs> do we get a monorail? How, how do we... Does it matter? How, how are we getting money here? Yes. Yes. Perfect. That should take us to 50%, I think. <gasps> wow, look at her. She's baller. She's completely new as well. And she's got, like, eight for genetics or is that logistics I, what was she aid for genetics like right nice. up the bat so what's really interesting about this is just how obvious this like whether it's in jurassic world dominion or not i'm really not sure because like i said i haven't seen it yet but the invisible fences that was just something that the modding community made up it didn't matter whether it's in dominion or not or if it if it is then I feel like it's it's filtered in somehow from the community because that's something we've always wanted is invisible fences. And yet here we are finally with invisible fences. And I, I, if it is in the movie, it's you guys. It's Jurassic World Evolution community. You did it. <laughs> that's it. We've had a breakthrough. We've had a breakthrough. An entirely new genome. So what you're saying is we've discovered a new dinosaur? I think One so. One we've never seen before? Yes. Sort of. It is incredible, but it's fast not incubation. A oh, we'll get to it later. It's a prehistoric synapse called Dimetrodon. Oh, hold on. The trees are casting a terrible Did shadow. We need to get a good look at this thing when it comes out. I don't believe so. Heck yeah. Perfect. A Biosyn exclusive. I want five this of them. DNA is only part of the puzzle, though. We still need to build a hatchery and then synthesize this new breed. Once we've done that, we can incubate and release them. Of course we've done it, man. I'm a pro man. They don't call me the gamer people for nothing. <laughs> All right, five out of six of these beautiful buggers. We only got four last time, I think. Yes, look at them go. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks so nice. With the red and the light. Because I only ever release these in the dark. They look so good. Look at them. Yes. Okay, so we need to find out what you guys like. I think the promotion uh, showed that Demetrodon has its eyes glowing in the dark. And also, um, I think there was... He says something, at least in the DLC, that I played. Like, the, the first version of this. I finally get it. I finally understand why people have a fear of the dark. Once you peer into the shadows and see a pair of Dimetrodon eyes staring back at you, well, you'll be having nightmares for years. Interesting that they they did keep the Fallen Kingdom uh, Dimetrodon sculpt because it was in one of the exhibits. It was in one of the exhibition things in Lockwood Manor where you had a Dimetrodon, and it looked like this. It had the same colorings, or at least the the sail was orange. I think the body was green or bluish. Or something like that. But they went, nah, we'll just make it brown. Looks so much nicer. Well, you're, apparently you're drowning. I don't even know what you're doing. Sauropods, compies, and Pagicephalosaurids? Really? Will be the home of paleobiology moving forward. Our future is found in the past. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Like that. Sure, we've had some difficulties. That was expected, but you handled it well. Getting this one, me. Now move forward with the next phase of Biosyn. We have a world-class operation. Let's take it global. <laughs> Biosyn will represent the past, present, and future. Come on, so guys. You want to eat? focus on next? We focus on upgrading our research compound. That'll give us benefits across the board. Oh, yes. Oh, these two? Yeah, they're definitely going to eat together. Something we can all be proud of. Do oh, there's three of them going to eat, I think. For 100% complete dinosaur genomes. The genetic link between birds and dinosaurs has long oh, been wow. established. Now, yeah, look at them go! Finally, have our yeah, look at them. This is beautiful. Be incredible. <laughs> well, 
What are we waiting for? Time to get started on the research. Up, oh, up. Oh, are we? Are we got? Oh, we're in together. There we go. Oh, perfect synchronage there. That was beautiful. Yes, that looks awesome. Right, I just wanted a good shot of that. Right, so uh, yeah, we need to do this. I know, I know. But I've got, like, a research going first because I want to be able to either... I think I get more scientists and I also can upgrade them, I think? What are you blabbering on about now? What do you mean you can't get to it? Whingy. Whingy whiny team. I want to view my creations. Yes, look at them. Beautiful. Where's my Dometrodon babies? Oh, there we go. I did it. Biosyn oh, is at the that. brink it of looks beautiful. everything in Gen aspired to be, and more. It is truly something. I, I just... Just what? Well, this is the point in Gen thought they had everything in place. Then it all unraveled from there. <laughs> yeah, let me put your fears to rest. I am not Hammond. Let's go. I am not Mazrani and his tech first approach. We I am all of the succeed, above. <laughs> and that is what we're going to do. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to imply it then. No, no, no. I understand what you're trying That's to say. That's my tower. There is truth in it. But we're in a far better position to succeed because others have failed. Hammond and Mazrani both brought tremendous advances to the world. They just had a narrow vision of it. We do not. We see the whole picture. We see the balance of it. Where there are advancements, there needs to be a business that supports it. That makes sense. Look, Biosyn's not just interested in the dinosaurs. They have the potential to provide improvements for all life on this planet. If we don't jump... Isn't that how, like, Planet of the Apes does? else will. <laughs> so why not Like us? the reboot. I always felt like maybe they might go that direction. Oh, look, we can go inside the place. Okay, so I kind of want to check everything else because I, I didn't do this when I played through last time. Specific animal. If I were to say that its name means Olympus Fire Thief. A pyro raptor? Yes, exactly. Before we can proceed any further, we'll need to send a team out for pyro raptor amber samples. No problem. It looks like we should be able to achieve a complete, uncompromised genome with the pyro raptor. That should make Dawson happy. No, don't fire him! He's really good! I need to train him. Wait, can I not train him? Oh, I need to do that to train him. Oh, okay, he's already he's already trained. But we need, look at this. Pyraptor, Dreadnoughtus, I think that is. There is an source and Kika. I was wondering whether we'll be able to get Quetzal, but I assume we won't be able to if Quetzal's not part of Biosyn. So Atrociraptor, rest, there you go, is not part of Biosyn. Uh, you can rest as well. You're researching though, Jennifer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're just too good. You need to keep on working, dear. That's what you do when you're good at your job. You never stop working. And you get taken advantage of, like me. <laughs> Look at that. I wish they didn't just dip their head into the water and just drown. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Oh, they took the thing off for opening the facility and closing it. Because that was... So they've changed a couple of things. They've made it so the dinosaurs you put in always get on. Because that was a bug when Nozutoceratops and Stegosaurus killed each other. They've changed the... There was something I got stuck on where it was like, how do I get 200... It wasn't staff, they called it something weird. And I was like, how do I do that? <laughs> right, so now we can go on Amber. We go to... Uh, well, one of them it should be. Power Raptor, there we go. Uh, you and you, yes. You're very good. Um, and have you researched? Yay! You can rest, Jennifer! You've done an amazing job! Amazing! Beautiful! Uh, so now we need a separate enclosure for Pyraptor, because they're gonna kill the Dimetrodons, and I kinda wanna keep the Dimetrodons. So we could put the Pyraptors in here, uh, but then I've got all my, my facilities taken up, so I- What are you- Why can't you get this thing? Why do I need a gate when you could just go over the- You did it! Why did you complain? <laughs> Right, so we've made one, two more enclosures. I made this one specifically for Pyraptor because it's it's quite small. Um, and now we just need to get the genome up to 100% to just see how inaccurate and accurate Pyraptor is. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's getting a bit challenging now. <laughs> is there anybody with 10? Oh, but that's genetics. I want something that's really good with logistics. Okay, I got five off the bat for him. He's 700,000. Why? Faster expeditions. Is that it? Decreased task. I don't- I want- I, He's half price! 
Freaking Bobby. Bobby's MVP. He's super cheap. Kimberly. Yes, cheaper incubations. Oh, you not only are you budget, but you also save me money. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I got three. Three things going on. I'm researching additional bays. I've got an uh, extraction going on because we need that. And I've also got... Um, oh, I don't even know what the other one is. <laughs> I think with a little research, we should be able to get a batch of Power Raptors ready for release. All right, then. Let's get a team on it. It may not be easy, but it is necessary. Can you imagine what would have happened already to this facility without us being here? Oh, look. <sighs> I'd rather Oh, not. there's loads. Me either. So let's stay on task. Dude, we got to do random. Dinosaurs need us even more. The pyroraptors are going to require an enclosure. Let's try and make it as suitable as we can for them. The last thing we need is for these animals to be irritated. I do have six here. If I read, like, look, it's 400,000 or... 2.7 million and we only have 7.8 million money yes they're all different colors you know what sod it yes we'll make six of them are we ready to see pyroraptor in loads of different colors heck yeah oh 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 wow <laughs> that one looks like um yeah the middle one this purple one what does that look like it looks like something from one of those dinosaur documentaries i can't remember Oh, they... Oh, they don't look good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, at least I'm not... I much prefer the original. I've managed to obtain dinosaurs from Isla Nublar, and now I think it's the right time to bring them here. We can accommodate them, right? Because I really don't want to let this opportunity pass us by. They just did a jump. Oh, that was cool. Oh, look, there, there it is again. Okay, so in one minute, we've got Ankylosaur, Apatosaur, and Stiggy Molot coming. I, what I need to do is just double check. Oh, bam! <laughs> just double check uh, if these guys get on. What What do you not like, Mr. Stegosaur? Because you're a fussy little bugger. Do you like Ankylosaurs? It doesn't say you dislike Ankylosaurs. Oh, no, you do. You don't You don't like Ankylosaurs. The Stiggy Molochs could actually go with the Demo Demetrodon. Transport the Ankylosaur. Because the Ankylosaur actually needs a load of space, which is very scary. <laughs> um, the Apatosaurs. Oh, something's got to get on with Apatosaurs, right? Um, do, do the Pyroraptors get on with the Patasaurs? No. Sauropods? Yes, we can put the uh, Sauropods in there. So hold on. Let me just quickly move all of the Pyroraptors into their new enclosure. Yep, yep, yep. We're putting the Apatosaurs in with the Demetrodon. That's what we're doing. Hopefully they don't kill each other. Oh, I would have much preferred the original Pyroraptors. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so Demetrodon gets on with sauropods and the uh, stiggy moloch as well so i might as well just put these guys all in together then six stiggy moloch okay sure let's uh just put them all in here then yeah yeah these are padasaurs or uh <laughs> they're definitely wanting more forest good god right hold on a second let me just extend this a little bit let's have a look at the ankylosaurs ground leaf ground leaf and forest have you explored much no <laughs> sweet Nice, go explore more before you start being unhappy with things. All right, Patasaurs, you, you'll get there, you'll get there. You're just missing a little bit of forest. And really, I'm very curious about these Stiggy Moloch and Dimetrodons, because they look like they're the right size to sort of attack and kill each other. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the uh, the Stiggy Moloch can just sort of, like, hit it away. It's a bit too big. I forgot... Moloch? We, you saw it with Chris... Oh, God, yeah. Pyro. Oh, oh, it's two Pyroraptors. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. You need more forest. Uh, uh, but you have lots of forest, though, right? You need more forest. Oh, God. Is it because there's quite a sizable amount of you? Okay, lots lots of forest. Yep, hint taken. There you go. <laughs> Literally, your whole enclosure is just forest. Sweet. Well, I hope you're happy with it. Uh oh, diseases! This is what I was afraid of. There is a disease spreading through our population. This is what happens when you push too far. We'd better start researching a cure and do it like yesterday. Is it this do one? Tuberculosis? I feel like quickly. I haven't even checked. Have it's tuberculosis. We can have a disaster on our hands if we're not careful. Well, at least you guys aren't attacking each other. That's good. But I'll have a check to see what the Stiggy Morlock needs. Uh, lots and lots of ground leaf. Okay. Well, the thing, the thing is. Because this fence is just so good, I really don't need to worry about um, anything sort of escaping or being unhappy. Because even if it is unhappy, 
It's not gonna run away. <laughs> Fine, Jesus, I'll aim if you can't even do this. Bam! They both got it. Hey, oh, yeah, headshot. Body shot. Butt shot. Neck shot. I don't even know what this guy's doing. He's taking so bloody long. There you go. They're all healed. I think there's still a sticky Moloch in here that needs healing, though. Synthesize and incubate a Dreadnoughtus, a Therizinosaurus, and a Giga. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's really simple. Yeah. This is the Biosyn I'd always envisioned. Pleased to report that our biodiversity is solid. The facility can support a range of animals. That means all of our... Well, Biosyn's dinosaurs are in play. We could not be in a better position. Oh. But... Could we not? It leads me to think... Think about what? Don't we owe it the to bigger the world picture. to bring more to the table? Every new species presents Biosyn with new possibilities. Medicine, materials, mathematics. We are just scratching the surface. Scratch and sniff. But... I am an impatient man. I want to show the world our full potential, and I want to do so now. Eh, that is the only way we no. destroy InGen. I want them to be a distant memory. Right now, I want more species. As fast as you can make them. Don't pepper me with excuses on why not. I need ways to make this a reality. Oh, that was cute. With all due respect, there is a risk to everything we do. The more species we bring back, the more complex of a biosphere we have to manage. We can only push so far. Hmm. Mm. When you think you have pushed as far mm. as you can go... And then push, push again. Push harder. This genie is not going back in the bottle. Wait. Uh, uh, okay. No idea how long my camera lasted for. So, um... Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Apologies. Uh, that was, I've probably been gone from the start, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, I need to have 150 operatives in order to go any further because we've dug up as much Therizinosaurus DNA as we possibly can so far. Brilliant! So we're going to have to do a little bit more research. Yes, we're still working. Yes! <laughs> it's come to me going alt-tab and saying, am I moving? Yes. I do, I do this, I go, yeah. Yes! I can finally research the last of the scientists. Oh, my God. So what's interesting about this is that I ended up playing, or not playing, but accidentally seeing the second part of this campaign when I accidentally failed this one and had to restart because I was syncing up the footage that I got from Frontier to my footage and noticed that there was a big difference and a big jump between the two. And it was just when, like, I saw that thing and I think instead of Frontier... Um, leaving it up to me, because they did say, don't showcase that. Not specifically to me, but in general. Um, so instead of just leaving it up to me to edit that bit out, uh, they were like, nah, we'll just cut that. <laughs> so I didn't even get that bit. So I think it's called Scorched Earth. Is like the part two of this uh, campaign. We're all 73% of the way through. So that's quite interesting. So we haven't got really that much further to go. <laughs> and we have no money. Yay! There we go. Now we do. Yes. We're going to have to release this by airlift. Otherwise... Oh, no. Well, you know, we'll release it regular because we didn't actually get to see it from a great angle last time. Uh, and I think we're actually seeing it in the shadow again this time. <laughs> this angle, I think, is in the, the shadowy place. Oh, yes. Look at it, it's huge, and it's about to have a friend! Look at you! Yeah, let's just actually see it from a normal angle, shall we? So this is the 2022, which should have been 2021 skin, for Dreadnoughtus. Ha <laughs> ha! Fire! Keep ya! Okay, and let's plonk that into, I think, this enclosure. That's the, Yeah, there's the other... Uh, Dreadnoughtus, which is only... It's on 87% health? It's thirsty. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's water in this enclosure. Oh, that was fast. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we'll do some Nozutoceratops as well, because I need... I, I just need to get this up, I think. There it is. Faster incubation. So the... Ho oh, ho! Oh, really spire elephant. So I'll put these in with the Ankylosaurs, because those two get on together. Ceratopsids and Ankylosaurs... I don't even know what we're on. Hold on. I need to go to research. I need the final amber level. But I need 150 operatives. 
Don't exactly know what that means. I click on the Biosyn building. Uh, no, yeah, that, that means it doesn't say anything. <laughs> Sweet. We're on 131. So I'm hoping that just releasing more dinosaurs and more species into the park will get me to the 150. You know, it is apparently they want another like shelter. So maybe if I give them a shelter, maybe they'll be happy. Oh, there's a Parasaur skin of 2022. Oh, there's an, is it, wait, is it ABC? Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's do A. Yeah, let's see this one. I didn't even realize, you know, the new uh, Parasaur skin, but there it is. Look at them. Wow. Yeah, that looks exactly like they do in the movie. Is that different calls? It kind of sounds like they have different calls as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so we've got even more. All right, let's sedate these guys. Oh, these ones don't have biosyn on. That's interesting. I thought most of the uh, vehicles in this have biosyn, except for those, these helicopters. There's probably a way quicker way of transporting the dinosaurs as opposed to airlift, because then they do one by one. This way, they just do them all at once. Sweet. Right, we'll find out whether or not... Uh, the stegosaurs are happy with them. Uh, the area's all right. Are they all right? They're, they're slowly being dropped in and I don't see any difference. So yeah, I think we're all good actually. Oh, unless the paras odd. No, paras are fine. Computation's a little bit of an issue. It's getting there, but not really. Right, okay, let's see this one. So we saw the classic. I think that was in the movie. Now let's have a look at this one. Ooh. Okay, same model. But different coloring. You know what? As loud as they are, I kind of like it. It's a it's a mix, like a different model, but it has the Lost World sort of patterning on it. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. All right, off they go. Like a flea circus. Woo. Oh, yeah, they look really nice. I love the uh, contrast of the white underbelly there. Okay. We've done three releases in a short succession of each other, and hopefully we can get it the other way. Yeah, this is nicer. That way is very shadowy. So, ooh, this one looks very similar to the last one we just did. But it doesn't have the Lost World pattern. It's got kind of like the Jurassic Dominion pattern. And we've only got three, so we can't see too many of them. But yeah, that one also looks quite nice. Yeah, the pattern on that's pretty cool too. Oh, we got loads over here that aren't viewable. Oh dear. Okay, so if I plonk this in. Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. So you can have the link go anywhere, but there's only a finite amount of spaces that they can have. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So once we put this up, yeah, there we go. We can research it. It was just because half my dinosaurs weren't viewable. <laughs> Just a small little thing. I still think this design's my favorite. I love the blue and the gray brown. It's so nice. In comparison to what Jurassic Park 3's power was, ugh, don't we really like that one as much. This is so nice, man. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can do loads now. Oh, I just increased the capacity. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, wait, this, we only need these, so why don't we just put these? They're genetic specialists, so they do it super quick, and they cut it in, like, more than half. Oh, yes! This is probably going to be 100% Thera. I'd be surprised if it isn't. Yeah, it's <laughs> 99%. Come on, man, really? There is Therizinosaurus, done. Does it have any other skins, is the question, because it was only one last time. Oh! <gasps> It does have different skins, but I mean, we have to go for that one because the other ones will look. If Pyroraptor's anything to go off, you, we don't want to see the other colors. <laughs> right, I finally have enough money to make it. Yes, so faster incubation. Uh, faster incubation. Uh, so it's 50% quicker, basically. Oh, ho, ho, so in a minute, we'll get to see the Therizinosaurus again. And this time, it won't be killed by Pyroraptor. It won't be an idiot this time. <laughs> Release the Therizinosaurus! Ooh. Interesting. Different lighting. Doesn't matter how, when or how I release these dinosaurs, they're cast in shadow. <laughs> Always. Right, so, yeah, we're, um, what does it get on with? 
It dislikes everything. Okay. Okay, but would it attack a Dreadnoughtus, right? Would it? Would it? I don't, I don't know if it would attack a Dreadnoughtus. So I'm, I'm going to plop it in there. And while I've been doing that, I've been getting Giga DNA. <laughs> Look at it all. In fact, I've took that out and get those three in. Heck yeah. That's how we do management, guys. Bam. All right, then. Well, let's see how you collapse, huh? Running around with my pointy fingers. It's doing very well. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> look at that. It didn't look like it broke every bone in its body. So Giga is already at 50%. Oh, never mind. We can just make it. Sweet. Uh, anyway, look at the Resinosaurus go. <laughs> Beautiful, like a bit of a sauropod. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know what's going on with this head. Never mind then. <laughs> but this looks sweet. Like, look at that. Look at the detail on that guy. That is so good. Look at the eye. Look at the eye of Sauron. But what do you need? Cohabitation, very unhappy. Uh, population fine, area fine. Forest will be fine. It's just the cohabitation. I think it might be okay, though. 1,222. It's very dominant, though. Hmm. Could be, like, the brink of it not being happy. It's- Wait, what do you mean looking for food? What- What do you need for food? Oh, you need a little bush? Oh, look at it! Oh, it's so cute seeing it the second time, though. So maybe it was supposed to eat it in the water? That's why it was, like, kind of a swampy biome? It looks so cool! And look at this with the fog in the background! Like, because it's lighter, it just highlights what's in front. This is why, like, in a lot of my thumbnails, I put light behind things, because it really makes things pop. And you can see that here. Oh, it looks so good. Look at you. You're not unhappy, are you? Maybe you are. Everything is fine except for cohabitation, so we'll find out. You can't break out, though. You're five, and these are six. <laughs> yes, we'll do the one with the least issues. It's got a longevity. That's good. Release the Giga! Yes! For the second time within, like, three days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Lord, the, the light actually looks pretty cool with this guy. And for the first time, I've released something that's not in shadow. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. A little bit of slidey there, but we've did it. That's now it. we need to... I think we've done all we can. Transport to this compound as much as possible. We can support everything you want. The choice is ours. The choice is ours. Really? <gasps> Yeah, is it? Second that, really. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you two. It would be foolish of me not to include you in what happens next. We don't want any missteps. You know, I'd like to see what this facility is really capable of. Me too. I think it can handle more dinosaurs. Is well, that right? I know we can. Uh, I'm proud of you both. This is Biosyn at its best. Any dinosaurs we still need in the facility? Let me check the research. Go on, sleepies. We gotta make sure we get them all. This is too great an opportunity to miss. So Once we need lifetime, 11? Right? I mean, for the dinos and for us. With all that's happening, we still want to keep an eye on our dinosaur visibility and comfort ratings. Agreed. Let's keep them on target. No. Don't be silly. Oh, well, there's, uh, there's ten. Yep, we'll just, uh, you know, hatch all of those. Sweet. That's ten galleys. We can just release them into this thing, and then it'll be like, It's all good! Next mission! Ha-ha! <laughs> and that takes us over to 76 species, I think. I like how they've just kind of already run out. <laughs> oh, hey! Are we done? We did it! Mission com- Wait, so, that that's it? We, I mean, we can probably continue on, but- that's the first part of the mission done. This facility, it's, it's remarkable. <laughs> it's beautiful. You can say that again. Let's call it a Biosyn Sanctuary. Although that does sound like marketing rather than reality. Well, reality is the one we make, right? Even if it isn't accurate. These dinosaurs are an asset to the world. What oh, they do? To share with it. However, we do this on our terms and our timelines. We've done our best for the dinosaurs and for Biosyn. We did our jobs and we did them well. This Thank is you. no time to be looking back. I did everything. And we look forward <laughs> to all the possibilities that we are about to share with the world. To the future of Biosyn genetics. 
And then it just lightning flashes and everything's on fire. <laughs> no, the future of virus and genetics. Oh, so we, we're, we're going straight. We're going straight into the other one. So what? I didn't. I didn't get. Headed by Lewis Dodgson. Okay. Bios and genetics ushered in a new era of bioengineering, building Ooh. a utopia for their dinosaur creations. But in the shadows, Dodgson was devising a more sinister plan. It's the locusts. They were engineering prehistoric locusts, capable of destroying any crop or farmland not using bios and seeds. Oh! <laughs> Dr. Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant discovered their plans and infiltrated Biosyn's restricted research area. <laughs> they were able to collect the DNA evidence they needed to prove Biosyn's nefarious intent. the movie ruined for you before you've even seen it. Sweet! <laughs> Attempting to cover his tracks, Dodgson destroyed the evidence, ah. causing a catastrophe in the valley. He would meet his own demise as a raging inferno tore through the area, putting all life at risk. Interesting. Fortunately, most of the dinosaurs were saved and the fire was contained. The valley, however, remains a scorched landscape in need of healing, with Biosyn's legacy left hanging in the balance. Okay, so this is the Scorched Earth part of the campaign. Ah, right. Well, there we go. The thing is with Dominion, right? It's not a case of knowing the plot. It's just you need to see it. So I feel like I already know what happens in Dominion, but I just want to see it anyway. Like, I just want to see it unfold in I front of me. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. But with Dotson out of the picture, the future... Hey, it's not Owen Grady again. Such as? Permanent, viable home for the dinosaurs. He's too busy voicing Mario, man. Can't Let voice his own character. That, Owen. We do have the experience to take this on. There's one thing we don't do. It's easy. You can say that again. To really get this right, I think we're going to need some help. Funny you should mention that. Oh? I have just the right people in mind. Oh? Are we going to get Alan Grant in that? When oh. I think about everything, <laughs> what really gets me the most is seeing these animals injured. The buildings, bank accounts, and egos can be rebuilt, but a dinosaur Ooh, look at this. is a walking miracle of evolution and science. They really are a miracle. Is this how I should have Born done it? of science <laughs> and dogged determination. And sadly, a lot of sacrifice, too. Oh, this we is cool. That be for nothing. Where do we start? We triage the situation. Find the dinosaurs most in need of medical care and treat them first. Agreed. Then we focus on repairing what we can. It looks like the fire damage is minimal in some places. Sounds good. Let's get started. Boopy boop. Hey, look, that's where Maisie climbed the ladder. Whoa, where are we going? I'm being taken away. Back first. <laughs> Let's start by repairing the hydropower hub. Yes, right. Energy is the first step towards getting us back up and running. Exactly. We sort that out, and we get our core buildings operational again. Okay. So that's that's the whole reason for this. Eventually they found the locust, and then bioengineered locusts that ate anything that wasn't Biosyn's own crops, and it was just all about money in the end. Uh, even though I haven't seen the movie, kind of a crap plot. <laughs> Fucking not gonna lie, it's... I feel like uh, could have came up with something better, right, Colin? Colin! Colin, what are you thinking? <laughs> what are you doing? That should be a side plot, not the whole plot. Jesus! It is what it is. So I guess we'll just ex es escape out of there at speed of time, because we can do that. Because we play God in these games. Claire, I've just received a report about our transport teams. They're grounded so cool, for though. now by the weather. We can't move any dinosaurs captured by the DFW at the moment. Well, that's not good. So, what do we do? Wait for better we weather. Make more stuff! I risk anything. You know what happens when we rush something. Uh, yeah, well, I see your point. You don't rush anything because you're not Chris Pratt! <laughs> you're a lie! Oh, this is um, it. Remember when you said so this was untouched. Help? Which time? The okay. time the park fell apart, the time we were chased by my own raptors, the time the volcano went off and we had to run down the hill. Well, <laughs> you rolled, but... 
I get it. You I was a, I was consumed by a Paris Scholastic flow. Anyways, survived. Has arrived. <laughs> you remember Doctor Sattler and Doctor Grant? After all we've been through, yes, yes, I do. I yes, I do. We're all back here again. Hey! How can we help? Oh my God! It is, it is actually Laura Dern, but they've recorded right now, her over like a Zoom call. <laughs> Specifically, scientists. Look at you. I might know one or two hundred. We're gonna need anyone specializing in paleontology or paleobiology. Or paleobotany. We pretty much know them all. You know, it's amazing that a lifetime of studying dinosaurs might just get you noticed, but run from a few and you're kind of a rock star. <laughs> you're kind of a rock star. <laughs> oh, we got a welfare amazing specialist there. Okay. We need oh, a logistics amazing specialist there. And then we need a genetics. And he's the best that we're going to do is our war, Brian. So Laura Dern's audio is not as good as Sam Neill's, which is interesting. So they didn't, they mustn't have recorded it at the same location then. Is there anything that's really good here? A five and a seven. You know what? We'll take that. That'll do. Wildfire debris. A wildfire in Biosyn Sanctuary has left areas of the valley covered in wildfire debris. Dinosaurs cannot be comfortable housed until the wildfire, <laughs> wildfire debris is cleared. Uh, use scientists to clear wildfire. Okay. <laughs> really? So that the landscape can be regenerated and inhabited by dinosaurs again. Ellie, why Go on then. Are Out you get. Here, Chop some trees down. What are we doing? I, made a I don't promise know what are you myself. doing. I would never, never get mixed up in this business again. And yet, I know. But once you see these magnificent Ooh. creatures, you really feel the history of this planet, its life, its ecosystem. I wouldn't miss that for the world. I know, but there's always that underlying need to get ready to run. Well, yes, there is that. But can we just? Taking the good parts for now. Your life's work is living all around us. Yep. Still gets my heart beating. Ah, look at this outcome. Look at these dinosaurs. Don't you wish Ian could be here with us? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> well, we wouldn't let him drive. Now we've got some debris. Ah, the so dinosaurs. that's why he's he's doing the thing. He drove and then tipped the thing over. <laughs> the dinosaurs could reach a lot more usable space. Uh -huh. Okay. I guess we could do that by cleaning up the section of scorched earth here. We'll give them a little breathing room, but it won't be easy. Sorry, Grant, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit you know me, thingying you here. When you are. Bit busy. Don't want to talk over his audio, though. There's a good stretch of beautiful land in the valley, untouched and Perfect for the dinosaurs. But to get them there, we'll need to move the animals through a lot of fire damaged forest. Here's the path that Ellie and Alan laid out. Many of the dinosaurs have the instinct to move in herds, in packs. We convince a few, and the others will follow, even the solitary animals. Once they see a large migration, they'll be tempted to tag along. And the predators will go where their food does. They always do. Okay. So how about we mobilize our ranger teams to wrangle them through the path? It'll be like a cattle drive, but with vehicles, and the cows weigh eight tons. <laughs> this is so weird! Okay, it's very, um... Oh, what'd you call it? It's very, uh, JPOG, because you had this in the helicopter, I think. Oh, do I have to put them through the gate? Ah, I get you, I get you. I was like, but they're not going over the fence, man! <laughs> Well, this is an interesting thing to do. They've definitely, like, made AI for this. I Is this gonna... Like, you've got a summoning cone? A summon circle? An ascend? That's so interesting. <laughs> go on, off you go. Through the fence. Yeah, there they go. All done. Be free, my pretties. So what are they, what, what's all this other... you got a summon circle and a summon cone. Wow, okay, there's loads of different things here. Is there a particular way that I'm supposed to send them? I don't even know, man. <laughs> like, this way? Yeah. Go on, off you go. Faster. So now I can just drive along with them as they go. 
Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. Being able to summon and direct your dinosaurs somewhere. Oh, it's like freaking babysitting. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? This shouldn't be in a jeep. I should be taking We've care. I should be on. Oh, I should be on a Parasaurolophus. Oh, and Grady riding Parasaurolophus going. Go on. <laughs> What's next for the dinosaurs? Research outposts. Oh. We can construct or repair what we need. Great. Let's get on it. <sighs> Remember when we first saw the dinosaurs, Alan? When the promise of Jurassic Park was so alive? Yeah. I was overwhelmed. We all were. And the potential filled me with hope. It was magic. It was magic. Like, it truly was. But like all magic, it was just an illusion. Ah, we're and dragging this up, are we? Consequences of bringing them back. Yeah. We may not be able to change the past, but we can learn from it. Really? Like when they failed again with Jurassic World? All that technology. We do not need those elaborate security devices they had. What we do need is more hands-on conservation. A range of patrols, for instance, that could effectively monitor the animals and their welfare, you know? Correct. Vigilance. Exactly. Got to have some vigilance. Okay. Ooh. I've unlocked invisible fences. Not like we had that before, but all right. Can you get to this one? You should be able to get to that one, right? You can go around. Right. So we'll just pl plunk one in here, seeing as we can't actually get to the other things, which makes no sense. <laughs> but who cares? We've got power. So I'm wondering how much more we need to do. Like we care for these dinosaurs. Maybe we bring in a couple more. Maybe there's some sort of issue with um, like disease or something like that. But really there can't be that much, can there? I like how they're just running back over the scorcher. They'll never be happy here. Never be happy. Oh, they're happy. <laughs> oh, God, he's going. He's making a beeline for that Jeep. Jesus. Right, so what do you want? You want tall fiber and tall fruit. Some stuff that we really can't get. But now you can. Ho, ho. Tall fiber now. Yes. Beautiful. We did it. We made it happy. For about 15 seconds. Sweet. If we're going to see real improvement in the health of the animals, uh -huh. we'll need a paleo medical facility. Of course. Get right on. Healthier they are. You mean I'll get right on it? What's the problem? It is smoke inhalation. Oh, that's a uh, that's a new one. <laughs> All right. So how do we how do you treat that one then? Oh, you need to research it. Ah. Oh, this was already a thing, I'm pretty sure. So with this map, I'm wondering if the problem, you know, you have storms in some and you have like uh, snowstorms in other ones as well. This one is like, oh, you might get wildfires, which is weird because it looks very swampy. So it doesn't really. Oh, OK. All right. So everything basically had smoke inhalation, except for the Dreadnoughtus, which I think has got a fracture, injured carbon monoxide poisoning. Ah. So I've already went to sedate it because I'm assuming we'll have to take it to the actual facility to treat that. At the car wash. Now to airlift it back to its home. Somewhere there. I don't know. <gasps> That's it. We've done it. Clear the wildfire. Well, I would if you'd let me. Sorted. I've just been looking over the site. If we clear out this burned foliage, I believe we can restore the soil to regenerate the plant life we need. Okay. Special oh, she's got zero logistics. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, oh, and I'm a paleobotanist and a soil scientist. That's so cool. Plants. Don't you think that dinosaurs are more exciting than ferns and ivy? Well, I'm in the life-saving business. <laughs> Our future can be found in um, the soil. I'm smart. <laughs> I guess it's easier to replant mistakes. Well, I don't make mistakes when it comes to plants. The other things, that's a different story. You know how oh. these plants are poisonous to the dinosaurs? About half. How do the animals know they're poisonous? 65 million years of evolution. And, and here's one just sitting one on bird <laughs> ah, Okay, so what do we need to do next? Time to clear the burned foliage. 
These are tens. Okay, okay. What about these ones? Are these... Oh, no, these are being done, are they? So am I going to need okay. to research, like, other things? Toes. Copy that. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Should be any minute by now. <laughs> Isolate the arrivals. The enclosures are in good shape. The transport teams are back online. We're ready to go. Good. Because it's about to get busy. These animals what? need us. And thanks to our efforts, the valley is back. Step one, we need to get all the new dinosaurs into the enclosures. And step two is to not get eaten in the process. Oh, I put okay, them in the wrong way. <laughs> For the health of the dinosaurs, we need to keep all of the animals from the DFW quarantined away from the others. Because if we're not careful, we run the risk of spreading viral infections. Okay? Yeah, like that's never happened before. Is this big enough for them? I'm, I'm kind of curious because I, I might just keep these guys here <laughs> if this is the case. Oh, look, like it. it's a Jurassic World Stegosaur. It doesn't have a beak. Uh, yeah, it's missing a couple of things, but you know what it is? I think if I'm quick enough, I could just, yeah, I could just, like, have these guys in their own enclosure over here, away from everything, because they'll probably be alright. I think that's what it, it's wanting me to do, is just, like, cut this off from the rest of them. Are you a special Carnotaurus? No, you're not! We don't even have a cool Carnotaurus skin! No! Right, we'll see what you want. Open space. What you- <gasps> Just a little bit more, eh? I and mean, you want a lot of forest, so... Yeah. A lot of forest. A little bit of water. Some more sand as well, because everybody likes sand. Right, okay, that was fine. I thought, like, the open space was... <laughs> didn't like that, but once you sort of... Oh, it's probably because of the burnt soil, so it didn't count as actually having any land. Ah... There we go. Stegosaur completely fine in this enclosure as well. So we got to isolate the arrivals from the other dinosaurs. Oops. Oh, the Ankylosaur. <laughs> uh, yeah, I completely forgot about that one. I was like, ah, sugar man, it's fine. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we don't even have a staff building? <laughs> ah, that's the problem I see now. Okay. Look at this place. Isn't Just it neat? look at the transformation. It's astonishing. Makes me remember why I got into all of this in the first place. It's all black to me, I can't see anything. <laughs> here to this moment. Idealism? It's not a bad thing, Claire. Oh, it actually oh. can be a great thing. A great motivator. You're right. So what's left? We need to treat the injuries and diseases of the animals from the DFW. Oh, for now, God's sake. That sounds like a job for an idealist. What up? Oh, well, there we go. We took one. Head out of it. Oh, we didn't get anything for it? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> How about that one? Rabies. Oh, pesky rabies. What you like? <laughs> oh, look at it go. Yep. Yeah, it's... Oh, man. It, it looks so good. I don't know what I can say. The fog. The kind of very lush greenness that this place is. And the tower. Oh, it looks so cool. I don't know if I would buy this just for the campaign, though. I think really where this this whole thing shines is in the different dinosaurs this whole new environment and stuff as well uh, as well as decorations and things there is the free update sometimes again i don't I know what myself. that is but sometimes, it is included in this whole sometimes shebang sometimes i wonder how i even survived all this we all wonder that but let's yeah. focus on the facility now that it's rebuilt we need to make sure it can be maintained what if we monitor the status of the dinosaurs? We keep them disease-free? And then, our work should be done. Who I cares? wasn't sure we'd ever get this place back under control. Think we could call this a success? As long as the dinosaurs are comfortable? I think so. <gasps> then it's time to test the system. Make sure it's stable and viable. Testing Let's keep our system. dinosaur comfort and visibility ratings high. Make that our top priority. That and... And not getting eaten. Yep, I know. I know. So, I know. How are we doing, Ellie? It's no Esla Nublar, that's for sure. Well, that's certainly something to be thankful for. I just meant the conditions here at Biosyn are more challenging. The climate, the biodiversity, the lack of natural barriers. It all adds up. You're right. But tell me, has adversity ever stopped you before? No. Look at all these faces up here, man. Each challenge. <laughs> we have got to get it right, or this could all fall apart. 
It no, won't. We don't, want that. don't be silly. You will be fine, Lenore. You can identify and solve problems like nobody else I have ever met. Really? Really. Flattery, Dr. Grant? No, that's the truth. But... <laughs> sure. Well, any trace of scorched earth has got to go. The remnants of this location's violent past need to be erased. For good. Then that is precisely what we will do. Together. Aww. Oh, bless the working together. To clear this uh, wildfire stuff away. And I've still got another one to do on the other side. So, but the thing is, I've kind of like done everything though. So there's, there's not really anything else for me to do. Everything's happy. We're clearing away. Select the research compound and close the facility. Oh, wait, what? What? Are, are we done? Is is this it? Is this the end? Close facility? Park close. We did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clear it all away. Done. Nice. So see you later. Bye. At least we get a little video. <laughs> wow, we did the campaign. Okay. Even when they're at their most brutal, their most terrifying, Dinosaurs are still beautiful. Dodgson misunderstood the true potential of this place. Dodgson. He was wrong on so many levels. Hopefully this time we've learned from the past. Ah! <laughs> the, the tree! the dinosaurs have as well. They know the Earth is theirs and that they belong here. But it should be ours together. Humanity and dinosaurs. Call me an optimist, but I think we can make it work. Yeah, said that when you're being eaten by a T-Rex, yeah. I have a choice, and the dinosaurs do too. Coexistence, it can work, but only if all of us are prepared to embrace it. I've got to say, Owen, it's hard to argue with that. Uh, it's hard, but I'll argue. <laughs> wow, okay, that's it. That's the complete campaign done, I think. Little bugger, little bugger. I knew that it was going to do that. Okay, so yeah, the end of the campaign with the actual camera working this time. I have no idea when that decided to stop, but hey-ho, here we are. Um, so the campaign, it was kind of okay. I feel like the first half had more going for it. Then the second, it kind of introduced... Like the herding mechanic, which I guess is now going to be in the game. That's probably part of the free features. Um, I, I think. I, I really don't know, though. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, but it was okay. I mean, it, it definitely shows the, the, de like the, the way the campaign was to start with, with Jurassic World Evolution 2. It should have had that to, to start with. Like, this game should have released alongside Dominion. And it really, it shouldn't have even been split into two parts. DFW and Dominion, it should just all be one. Leading up to the events of... Because they're... I mean, there's a reason why they're split into two. Because they really feel like they're just two separate things. Um, but it was all right. Uh, it was nice to see some of the cast come back. Sort of talk a little bit. Um, they didn't obviously get Jeff Goldblum back. Because, uh, I don't know, maybe he was just a, a bit busy. Or they didn't have enough budget. Pro probably the latter, I think, of those two. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the campaign so far. Or, like, the whole campaign, I suppose. Is, uh, that's it done so far it will be the end of the uh, Jurassic World Dominion um content that we'll end up doing on the game because we've still got all the dinosaurs to see want to do a showcase of that as well as the uh, chaos theory which we'll be jumping into soon so if you enjoyed it leave a like and until next time I hope I haven't been logging in and out too much of my camera disappearing but hey oh it is what it is <laughs> but until next time I'll see you cuties later oh bye bye